From life's first cry to final breath, Jesus commands my destiny. No power of hell, no scheme of man can And I pray in the name of Jesus Christ for every man and woman that is listening right now that may their hearts resolve to live a life higher, in a wisdom higher, in a glory higher, in an anointing higher, in an understanding higher higher i feel god is elevating somebody i feel god is anointing somebody i feel the power of god go over somebody right now in the mighty name of jesus christ and it is there to introduce you to a realm you never imagined existed you will not live in lower vibrations of sickness and poverty and bondage and demonic oppression and possession god will elevate you higher into the realm of freedom where you're seated in christ far above all principalities and powers and that you're a partaker of that divine nature and that the glory of god every day will grow on you and in you in the mighty name of jesus and the bible says and it came to pass it came to pass that was the only reason why it came yes you will not die it came to pass he said nay nay in all these things we are more than conquerors but now i can't be poor ah even if i try tell your neighbor even if i try I can't be sick. I can't be broke. I can't be disadvantaged. Yes, I know you have not yet seen the change. I know that maybe the landlord is knocking on your door. I know that maybe the guy is telling you he's going to leave your house. I know that maybe your children are struggling with this. I know. But the things that we see, the Bible says they are temporary. Let us fall in love with the word again. Let us buy Bibles. Let us download them on our phones. Let us put them on our computers. Let us quote the Psalms. I told people WhatsApp is an altar. It's not a show off for carnal men. Put a scripture. Encourage somebody. Your statuses. Let them minister the gospel. Surround yourself around the world. Tarry around the wine longer. The Bible says, and your eyes will become what? Red. Fanero Christians. When you hear men waging war on social media, keep quiet. It's the only way they will know we are different. When you hear people fighting you, the only thing is pray for them. Send them love cards and blessings. Are you hearing me? When you sit around people discussing things that are ungodly about ministries, walk away. That's not, that's not why you were born again. That's not even many things come to righteous men worse news can come but how built are you how steady are you how composed are you how much tenacity is inside you that things will come and still find you hard there is no easier way but they're only harder believers that when iron comes to bite iron goes back and tells other irons that this guy is harder than iron when you're thrown in the fire you burn more than the fire itself that the fire goes back and tells them we thought we were burning but that man burned somebody shout hallelujah praise god i wish you know who you are he says you are a chosen generation a peculiar people the bible says he called out of darkness into his marvelous life that should just show forth the praises of him when you become born again all things are past and now the new and all things are of god that of me and after my own image after my own way by the spirit i am choosing to give you a certain level of knowledge 
you cannot have a, this knowledge that it is above what humanity has created and you're not the head if a born again engineer understood this if a born again businessman understood this this world would be different it would be so different the church would lead in every sphere of influence on the face of the earth how do you wake up in the morning and respond to a funny video respond to a funny statement that your friend has said and then do all that and then skip a devotional and you have it in your phone how 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 do you even wake up and everything else catches your attention except this one thing god said cannot be compared to anything you could ever wish for how, how does that happen it is because we have not yet understood what wisdom is to our heart how would you have been without God how would you have been without God how would you have been without God think about it how would you have been without Jehovah God on your side so we all say if the Lord is for me who can be against me but many of us don't understand what it means for God to be for you. He's on your side. Being born again is not just the changing of your character and mind. Being born again is not simply embracing a story. Being born again woo, means you're born from above. John 3.31 The Bible says, He who comes from above is far above all others. Far superior to all others in prominence and in excellence. And the Bible says, he who comes from the earth belongs to the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good ergons and glorify your father which is in heaven. He's trying to tell you, I did not put light on you to be here. And he's trying to say this very thing, I did not give you that skill so it would die unnoticed. I did not give you that voice, so it would die unnoticed. I did not give you that wisdom, so no man would not listen to it. I did not give you that skill, so that no man would take advantage. And the next morning I say, man of God, last night something came and I told it. I told it where to go. The Bible says of Daniel that he was preferred above the princes of that time. He was preferred above the presidents of that time. So that the king sought to set him over the whole realm. So one man is seeking for the attention of the king and there's another man whom the king goes to bed thinking about asking himself how do i promote this individual if you understand this you will never seek you will never seek to be attended by greatness you will seek god that by the time greatness comes you didn't seek it by the time the high and mighty look for you you did not seek them it's not pride it's understanding the true order of the spirit Kings look for priests. 
if this is the very word that created the world and because he's in us and for us we give life to everything that was dying we give life to your home we give life to your ministry we give life to your body we give life to your vision we give life to your career we give life to uganda we speak life there will be no death we rebuke death out of this nation out of our own people we rebuke it we decree and we declare that we will not bury our own we decree and we declare that divine health is yours in jesus mighty name you move in the strength of god you move in the power of god you move in the glory of god in jesus mighty name we have prayed and believed give the lord a mighty hand of a praise join our online family spread the love and follow us on our facebook twitter and instagram and subscribe to our youtube channel finero make manifest